This is MicroDroplet, an open source platform to experiment with microfluidics. Microfluidics is an area of research based on the manipulation of small fluid volumes, on the order of microliters or less. It has gained traction in the field of biology, its main application being to create a so-called lab on a chip. The underlying physics is the electroweighting effect. Droplets under an applied voltage tend to reduce their contact angle with a surface. With this effect, we can move the droplet on an hydrophobic film using surface tension, as shown in this animation. We can even create complex structures, such as reservoirs, sinks, etc. Microdroplet electronics are inspired by Godilab's open drop platform and the extensive research they made publicly accessible. It features an 8x8 array of electrodes driven by an adjustable high voltage from 80 to 280 volt DC. I designed this PCB on KiCad and manufacture it with the JLC PCB prototyping service. Overall, the electronics bomb cost is under 40 US dollars. It is controlled by an Arduino Nano microcontroller board with a high voltage driver. Software wise, the Arduino firmware simply turns on or off electrodes in response to comments from the processing based control program. I 3D printed the base and the dielectric frame in PLA. To prepare the electrodes for electrometing, we need to add an insulating layer and an hydrophobic layer. Many materials can be used for both, as described in papers. But I'll show the simplest setup here, using low viscosity silicone oil and sandal power film. First, we want to get the thinnest layer of power film we can make. To do this, we need to stretch it in both directions. The 3D printed frame helps keep the film stretched and prevent wrinkles from occurring. Then, I apply about 15 microliters of oil directly on the electrodes and spread it with my finger. This prevents air from getting stuck between the film and the electrodes. Next, we can set the frame on top of the array. Finally, we put another drop of oil on the power film to make it hydrophobic. Four screws hold the frame in place. The array is now ready to use, insulated with a very thin film of dielectric and made hydrophobic thanks to the oil. To actually use the device, we can now turn on the high voltage, launch the control software and add drops of fluid on the electrodes. In these clips, I put a single droplet and program the device so that it follows a repeating rectangular pattern. Here, the voltage is quite high, about 200 volts. This ensures reliability and consistency, but for real application, we probably need lower voltages. It is attainable with better materials, such as micrometer thick ETFE sheets. Of course, we can also control multiple drops of fluid concurrently. Microdroplet is a simple learning platform to experiment with electroweighting. I achieve fast and reliable control of the droplets in the open configuration, albeit using high voltage. To go further on this topic, I'd recommend checking out Godilab's website and YouTube channel. I released all files on GitHub and published a written article on my website. Links are in the description.